Fertilization is the epic story of a single sperm facing incredible odds to unite with an egg and form a new human life. It is the story of all of us. It takes about 24 hours for a sperm cell to fertilize an egg. When the sperm penetrates the egg, the surface of the egg changes so that no other sperm can enter. At the moment of fertilization, the baby's genetic makeup is complete, including whether it's a boy or girl. Peace be upon you and God Almighty's blessings. Welcome to Simple Medicine Channel. Today we are going to talk about the hard journey of the sperm to meet the egg and fertilize it. But before we start don't forget to support us and subscribe our channel for more videos. A man may ejaculate 40 million to 150 million sperm, which start swimming upstream toward the fallopian tubes on their mission to fertilize an egg. Fast swimming sperm can reach the egg in a half an hour, while others may take days. The sperm can live up to 48 to 72 hours. Only a few hundred will even come close to the egg because of the many natural barriers that exist in a woman's body. The journey starts during sexual intercourse. About 150 million sperm enter the vagina. Soon afterward millions of them will either flow out of the vagina or die in its acidic environment. However, many survive because of the protective elements provided in the fluid surrounding them. Next, the sperm must pass through the cervix and opening into the uterus. Usually, it remains tightly closed but here the cervix is open for a few days. While the woman ovulates the sperm swim through the cervical mucus which is thin to a more watery consistency for easier passage. Once inside the cervix the sperm continue swimming toward the uterus. Though millions will die trying to make it through the mucus. Some sperm remain behind caught in the folds of the cervix, but they may later continue the journey as a backup to the first group. Inside the uterus muscular uterine contractions assist the sperm on their journey toward the egg. However resident cells from the women's immune system mistaking the sperm for foreign invaders, destroy thousands more. Neck half the sperm head for the empty fallopian tube while the other half swim toward the tube containing the unfertilized egg. Now, only a few thousand remain inside the fallopian tube. Tiny cilia push the egg toward the uterus. To continue the sperm must surge against this motion to reach the egg. Some sperm get trapped in the cilia and die during this part of the journey. Chemicals in the reproductive tract cause the membranes covering the heads of the sperm to change. As a result, the sperm become hyperactive. Swimming harder and faster toward their destination at long last the sperm reach the egg. Only a few dozen of the original 150 million sperm remain. The egg is covered with a layer of cells called the corona radiata. The sperm must get through this layer to reach the outer layer of the egg the zona pellucida. When sperm reach the zona pellucida they attach to specialized sperm receptors on the surface which triggers their acrosomes to release digestive enzymes enabling the sperm to burrow into the layer. Inside the zona pellucida is a narrow fluid-filled space just outside the egg cell membrane. The first sperm to make contact will fertilize the egg after a perilous journey and against incredible odds a single sperm attaches to the egg cell membrane. Within a few minutes their outer membranes fuse and the egg pulls the sperm inside. This event causes changes in the egg membrane that prevent other sperm from attaching to it. Next the egg releases chemicals that push other sperm away from the egg and create an impenetrable fertilization membrane. The fertilized egg starts growing fast, dividing into many cells. It leaves the fallopian tube and enters the uterus three to four days after fertilization. The cells continue to divide, becoming a hollow ball of cells called a blastocyst. The blastocyst implants in the wall of the uterus about six days after fertilization. The blastocyst attaches to the lining of the uterus, usually near the top. This process, called implantation, is completed by day nine or ten. The wall of the blastocyst is one cell thick except in one area where it is three to four cells thick. The inner cells in the thickened area develop into the embryo, and the outer cells burrow into the wall of the uterus and develop into the placenta. Thank you for watching. If you like the video don't forget to support us and subscribe our channel.